In this video, we'll show you how to put on a pelvic wrap. The pelvic wrap is a really important skill that everyone should know how to do. We'll do it for two reasons. One, to reduce pain after a pelvic fracture, and two, to reduce blood loss. If a patient has had a suspected pelvic trauma, then they are at risk of losing a lot of blood. There are many blood vessels in the pelvic area. If any of these are damaged, then several liters of blood could leak into the pelvic space. Putting on a pelvic wrap is simple and quick. You should use one anytime your patient has any pelvic pain or instability and in any suspected spinal injury. We'll show you how it's done. All right, so when we examine the pelvis, we always push in and never down. If you feel any instability or your patient is in any pain, then we're gonna put a pelvic wrap on the pelvis. To do this, we're gonna take three triangular bandages and we're gonna make her a lovely little pelvic corset. So I'm gonna take one narrow bandage and slide it underneath her knees. I'll probably slide two under there, just so we have them all ready. And then we'll shimmy it into place once we've got them all underneath her. The third one, I'll slide just under the small of her back, being as gentle as I can. Perfect. Um, and then using my partner, we're gonna shimmy that triangle bandage up. When we place the triangular bandages, you want the top one at the top of the iliac crest and the bottom one at the bottom of the greater trochanter. That's the lowest part of the hip bone. So once we've got the triangular bandages in place, it should look like this. Then we're gonna take the triangular bandages and tie them one at a time, um, just snug enough to, that the patient feels like they're being supported. And tie a bow, make it look nice. And once you've done that, you probably want to do a double check. I could probably snug up this bottom one a little bit more. And there's your pelvic corset. So that's a pelvic wrap. Use it to reduce pain and bleeding from a pelvic fracture. 